Hi everyone, my name is Zhang Liu. I'm a PhD student from University of Colorado Boulder. Today I'm presenting our research, EMRC, Efficient Misreach Approximation for Multi-Tier Caching. This is a joint work between CU Boulder and AT&T Labs Research. In today's data centers, caching is often provisioned on multiple tiers in cloud storage systems. When cloud applications running in virtual machines generate block IOs to remote storage media, the requests pass through a series of intermediate layers, such as user space libraries, hypervisors, and extra storage nodes. Each layer presents a caching opportunity, and thus most cloud providers adopt multi-tier caching architectures to maximize the utilization of scattered resources in the system. It is well known that effective caching management requires a good understanding of IO workload characteristics. Misreach curve is such a tool to study IO workload. It describes the relationship between certain cache size and the resulting misreach. Can we use this for multi-tier caching? Of course, for two-tier caching, we can generate a misreach surface in three dimensions. For three-tier caching, we can generate a misreach function in four dimensions. But it also comes with some complications. Here is a three-dimensional misreach surface for two-tier caching. First, it takes a very long time to generate. This is very relevant for online cache management systems, as you will want to regenerate the MRCs periodically to follow the workload dynamics. For this particular long trace, it takes one hour, 14 minutes to generate. Second, it has performance cliffs in all directions. A performance cliff is a sudden change of misreach value with respect to small change of cache size. If cache configuration is allocated near a cliff area, a small change in workload behavior may cause the misratio to fluctuate by a large number. Our EMRC approach is designed to overcome these limitations. It generates a new MRC with better misratio and most importantly, much less computation time. How did we manage to remove the cliffs? Let's go back a little bit to single tier case. Let's have a look at Talos. Talos is an algorithm that removes performance cliffs for single tier caching. It uses special sampling on the IO and shadow partitions on the cache to reduce the miss ratio. According to Talos, if we know the miss ratio value at cache size alpha and beta, and we set sampling ratio and the partition ratio accordingly, we can lower the original miss ratio MX to M Talos X. If we apply Talos to every cache configuration, we obtain the new Talos miss ratio, which is effectively the convex hull of the original MRC. One important takeaway from Talos is each miss ratio after a shadow partition is only related to one of the boundary point miss ratios. Miss ratio after first partition is only related to M alpha, and miss ratio after second partition is only related to M beta. So in single tier caching, there are two boundary points for cliff region. In two-tier caching, there are four boundary points. In fact, in n-tier caching system, there will be two to the power of n boundary points for cliff region. In EMRC, we partition n-tier cache with two to the power of n partitions. Let's use our two-tier system for now. If we look at first tier, it has two partitions just like Talos. However, the second tier cache now have four partitions. In EMRC, we we'll carefully pick rows and sigmas such that the miss rate after each of the tier two partition is only related to one of the boundary point miss ratios. For example, M1 is only related to the miss ratio at the red point. M2 is only related to the miss ratio at the yellow point and so on. The partitioning parameters also allow us to transform the cliff region to a smooth region. Please check our paper for the proof and the math for n greater than two. Now we know how to remove cliffs in a given region. We need to effectively partition the space into multiple such regions. Similar to Talos, we found the convex hall is a good reference to generate grid regions for multi-tier caching. We can first generate the convex hall and then use it as a reference to generate grid regions for cliff removal. However, this approach still requires the original MRC as input. 
which is time consuming to generate. How can we overcome this? Based on our evaluation of MSR IO traces, we found that among all the traces, at least 81% of the vertices in the 3D convex hole are the vertices of the 2D convex holes on the edges. Based on this finding, we can now partition the space without knowledge of the whole original MRC. First, we obtain the 2D MRCs on the two, two edges. Then we obtain the convex hole and the vertices of the two edges. After that, we construct grid regions using those vertices. And finally, we can remove cliffs within each region. This results in huge saving in computation time. Let's look at the performance. For evaluation, we used the well-known MSR IO trace from SNEA. The left figure shows the speed up factor in terms of number of data points required using our EMRC approach versus generating the whole original MRC. For two-tier caching, the average speed up factor is 14 times. And for four-tier caching, the average speed up factor is over 4,000 times. The red figure shows the mean absolute error between EMRC prediction and the EMRC validation. What the EMRC tells us is a predicted misratio value using partitioning parameters. We simulated thousands of cache configurations using EMRC parameters for each trace and compared the misratio results with the predicted value. We were able to achieve less than 2% MAE for all the traces we use meaning the EMRC partition the caches act as predicted in removing those performance cliffs. This set shows how different traces respond to our EMRC approach. For traces with shapes like the web server trace, our algorithm is able to construct the whole EMRC service with very few data points and significantly reduce the performance cliffs in the entire space. For traces with shapes like the proxy server one, the original surface does not have any significant cliffs. Our algorithm needs more data points to construct the whole EMRC surface. Although it only reduces performance cliffs in small area, it only needs to evaluate 25% cache configurations compared with generating the complex means ratio surface. For the print server trees, the particular shape of the original MRC causes our algorithm to produce non-convex regions in the area marked by red lines. This can be easily corrected by combining the multiple small regions in question into a single large region using new boundary points. This also means ratio value on the marked data points are already obtained. Reconfiguring the grid regions and applying EMRC does not have any additional overhead. This also demonstrates the flexibility of our EMRC partitioning scheme. It can remove a cliff in any region marked by four boundary points with no misratio values. Based on EMRC, we designed a multi-tier, multi-tenant cache management framework called OCA. OCA uses IOPS as the service level objective. It utilizes EMRC to approach to achieve better IOPS performance. It also uses a lightweight two-stage algorithm to reduce the search space internally. Here's how it works. A tenant sends SLO to OCA. OCA uses EMRC to find the optimal cache configuration that results in minimal resource used. OCA then configures each cache tier accordingly with specific size and the partitioning parameters. Here's an example that shows how OCA and EMRC can save cache resources for cloud providers. A tenant is running MSR Web 2 workload. It requests 60,000 IOPS as SLO. We assume tier one cache runs LRU policy and tier two cache runs ARC policy. And tier one cache costs 10 times more than the tier two cache. Let's try to find the cache configuration with minimal cost. Internally, OCA transforms mis ratio function into IOPS function. The figures show the difference in IOPS functions with and without EMRC partitioning. The solid colored areas contains cache configurations that can achieve equal or greater than 60K ops. Without EMRC, OCA takes one hour and 14 minutes to generate the original MRC and find the cache configuration. With EMRC, OCA only takes three minutes to generate the EMRC misratio function. 
and finds a better cash configuration with 36% cost saving. So the conclusion, we build our eMRC partition algorithm to remove multi-dimensional performance cliffs. It works for both stack and non-stack based eviction policies. Our eMRC convex flow approximation technique allows efficient MRC generation with cliff removal. For two-tier caching, the average speed up factor is 14 times. And for four-tier caching, the number is over 4,000 times. We also designed OCA, a multi-tier cache orchestration framework that uses two-stage algorithm to make tenants SLO. We evaluated our work with real-world traces to show the benefit of eMRC. Thank you.